Okay, so we got Molly Huddle here. Very exciting news today. Congrats to you and Card. I mean, how, how are you feeling right now? You're in town, you're not running, but you have this great news. Like, when did you find out? Yeah, I did. Uh, I've known since August, so um, no, for a while. I wasn't running, but wasn't really comfortable enough talking about it until around now, just because it was kind of early. But it feels great to me just like seeing the event happen again and seeing everyone back in Boston, and I'm so glad that. I can still kind of be here and cheer for everyone and experience Marathon Weekend in the fall because it's so unique. Yeah. So I don't feel like I'm total FOMO, just, um, yeah, it's great to just still see everybody. Yeah. Have you, how much have you been running these days? About half as much as before. Yeah. So like I was doing like, I don't know, I got up to like 90 and 100 mile a week in August, now I'm doing like 45. <laughs> so I'm good with that. I think uh, it'll be a good refresher to do a little less for a while. Yeah. But you said, you know, you want to, after you have the, the kid, you want to come back and continue running next year. That's the plan? That's the plan, yeah. I'd love to be ready by the time another fall marathon comes around. So that'll be about, give me about six months to get back. Yeah. So, yeah. Have you, who's, who's given you the best pregnancy advice so far? Oh gosh, I have so many people that have good advice. I think Alicia's been the best. Yeah. Um, everyone was in different situations when they had their children. The, of my friends, some, some were injured going into it. Some were racing the whole time. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I think Alicia, uh, my friends Kim Smith and Ro were great. Um, it was interesting hearing how much everyone did. Yeah. I'm kind of curious, I mean, if you want to discuss this, but like the timing of it, because some athletes get to this stage in their career, and we saw Shalane and Sarah Hall both adopted children, and then some athletes will have the child, like, I'm curious, like, would you think, would you have, was there a thought, oh, I'll just retire and have it when I'm done, or what, I guess, how, how did that come into you and thinking about that? Um, I always approached it like, you know, give yourself as many chances to run well and do things you want to do and then try and fit this in while you're still physically young enough and able to. Um, so I feel like I was at that spot now. Um, it, with the ankle injury taking so long, it felt like a good time to do it. So, yeah, luckily it was very, um, we didn't have much, like, many interruptions or problems. So I feel like that part of it. Uh, it's something a lot of people deal with, but that luckily we were able to, you know, have kids pretty easily at this age. So, um, you know, it's it's a lot of factors in, in it for every female athlete. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, how long do you think you're going to keep running? Are you, you going to plan to try run right up to the book? Or? Uh, I'm going to try to, yeah. yeah. Just take it every day, every yeah. day at a time. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah, congrats. Huge, uh, yeah, huge congratulations. Yeah. And uh, thanks, thanks for taking the time on. Thanks.